I think what makes Lilybug special is just how affectionate and empathetic she is to the point that she tries to give everyone she meets hugs. She's kind of become known as the hugging pit bull. Um, you need a hug? Okay. My name is Marissa Grimshaw and my dog is Lilybug. Lilybug is eight years old. She is an American bully, or at least according to one of the numerous DNA tests that I have done for her. She's smart, but also really sensitive, and I think really in tune with other people's emotions and you know, not just my own. Lilybug's hugging dates back to when she was a puppy and I first was fostering her. Anytime that she would meet, somebody, she would jump up to give them a hug. And it was, you know, initially something I thought that was puppy behavior and I was trying to train her not to do it. And I slowly realized she wasn't jumping up trying to get attention. She was fully wrapping her paws around people's waists or if they bent down over their shoulders and sort of like pulling them towards her and she would just embrace them. Like she wouldn't move. She would stand on her hind legs for as long as they would let her just holding on to people. I think that Bug's ability to give hugs has really changed a lot of minds about pit bull type dogs. And so who's your best friend? It's really heartwarming to kind of watch people's faces as they interact with her and are getting a hug from this like 70 pound kind of strong blocky headed dog. And we've had so many followers and strangers from around the world reach out to say that seeing that alone has really changed their mind about these dogs because they were never given the opportunity to see a sweeter, softer side. Are you pretending you're not looking at the pizza? I'd say more often than not, the bully breeds that I've had the pleasure of meeting have just been like big teddy bears. That's why so many of us refer to them by cute nicknames like land seals, couch hippos, I call her a velvet manatee. Like, it sounds silly, but it's also, I think, how we as pit bull type dog owners kind of create this softness around them because they really are just like these big, sweet, goofy animals. Do you want to read I'm a manatee? It's in your book. <laughs> So my background in animal advocacy dates back to probably over a decade ago. I started fostering for various animal rescue organizations, specifically ones focused on pit bull type dogs and help them find uh, the best homes for them. So when Lilybug was found, she was left in a playground or a park in the New Britain, Connecticut area during a rain or thunderstorm and somebody called animal control. At that time, she was missing a lot of her fur. Um, they weren't sure what the cause of it was. They thought, you know, maybe it was mange or maybe it was um, another type of skin infection or an allergy, but she was pretty like red and patchy and raw. She was meant to just be my foster. Spoiler alert, clearly did not remain a foster. Some of the first photos of Bug and I are me just kind of hugging her and not letting her go like on the grass outside of the shelter. So I think anybody who saw that picture immediately knew that I was a, a goner and I wasn't just gonna foster her. I think that Lilybug and I are better together because we make each other better. I think that I am a happier, more confident person when she's around. She truly is my soul dog in every sense of the word. Can I have a kiss? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I refer to her as my soul dog because I just truly think that everybody has a dog or a pet out there that is like meant to be in their life uh, and that they will have a really unique bond with. And for me, that was 100% bug. I had fostered so many dogs before her and I had family dogs growing up and loved them all. But there was something very special and unique about bug and it was evident from like the first day I met her. What I would want the world to know about Lily Bug is that while her and I have this really unique bond and relationship, there are so many dogs just like her in shelters around the world that are somebody else's soul dog and are waiting for their chance to have that bond with somebody who is willing to open their heart and their home to them. 
while it may seem like what we have is so unique, it's unique to us, but another person could absolutely find that same type of bond and relationship with you know, their very own soul dog. And if they're willing to consider a bully breed for that, I would say they 100% would not be disappointed.